This fourth swipe I took over the perfect iceberg and built a massive ice fortress right next to a small oil rig as a solo, which of course put a big target on my head. And we are in. Let's go. So it's fourth swipe and we need to spawn on the right side because, come on, come on, full left. Oh my god. The plan for today's fourth swipe is gonna be take over an iceberg somewhere around here, right next to all the military tunnels. Like, look at this, full snow. We have large rig as well and fishing village. I don't, I don't wanna say too close, but we can go there and buy diving gear. I guess this one is fine. I can get a better spawn, so. It is what it is. I guess we run, we try to make a bone the way. Maybe, I don't know, kill people farming, I guess. And just, you know, go towards the snow. Also, boys, I'm gonna say it now, so I'm not gonna bother you anymore during the video. If you want, and if you're enjoying the solo content, please consider subscribing and leaving a like to the video. It helps a lot, especially subscribing. You know, for you, it's only one click, but for the channel, it, you know, it helps a lot. So, yeah. Give me that. Three yards like that. It's a white thoroughbred as well. And we can even make a bow. Nice. Okay. Someone is taking over the ice lake already. I mean, as expected, actually. It's gonna be a massive base for sure. Even though it's only T6 now, I'm pretty sure. Let's get free tools from this guy, actually. Nice. I need to keep an eye on ice lake here. They're placing pieces everywhere. Okay, we should have enough with this to be honest. I'm just gonna make a 2 by one right next to the iceberg we wanna build, so we don't need that much. And so that's what I did, I found the perfect iceberg and built a quick starter right below it. Now it was time to grind some scrap, remember it was fourth swipe and of course I had zero blueprints. Ok we got the starter down, nothing special just a 2 by one Now I think the plan is gonna be I guess get level 1 and if we find a boat we can go east oiler and try to be the first one there. Okay, we got level 1 down and I think I'm gonna wait for daytime because I have not clothing on me, so I'm gonna freeze and then we can go arbor again. There's a guy there. That's a tugboat as well. Wait, nobody took that? There's no way there's no doors there. He's swimming. It's actually free tugboat. You know what? I never got a tugboat in my life. I'm actually gonna take it over and try to use it a bit. It's gonna be fun. I should rush him with the hordes. To be honest, but never mind. Let's go to base real quick, so we can put the doors as well. Okay, nice. We actually secured it. Let's go. I I'm actually hyped, not gonna lie. I never use a tugboat. I wanna see how, how it works a bit. I think it's gonna be, you know, kinda useful, like around the oil rig and stuff. So yeah, I guess we make Rossi and go Ulrig. They just called it, it's 40 minutes into wipe and they just called Ulrig, so... I don't know, it might be a lot of them, but we can, I can try to do something. Okay, let's go. 
I mean, I saw only one, and he has a bow. I'm just gonna full send it. If you don't know, unless he has the tag bot in his bow, he doesn't hear me. That's broken. I'm pretty sure it's solo though. No way. <laughs> this guy is actually mad. Oh my god. He's actually solo. No way. I mean, the fact that you don't hear the tag boot at all, unless he's, he's on your pub, makes no sense. Like, I feel bad for this guy. He's even solo, so respect. But I mean, you have to do what you have to do. Backpack as well. And it's full, of course. Damn. He had cards as well. This guy did it so fast. What a start. Damn. I mean, I thought he heard me when I jumped on the stairs and stuff. But I think he was too busy <laughs> looting and stuff. Unlucky. Oh, wait, you can't place. Yeah, I'm, I'm rigged. Never mind. Can't place stuff next to all your rig. And that explains you how much I played Tagbot in my life. First time, literally. You always learn something, I guess. Just need to wait an old dog, pretty much. One hour into fart, so if I doubt anybody's gonna mini bomb. So, yeah, should be a free oil. Hopefully. Nine kilo as well. I mean, crit should be open in a few seconds. And there's a tag boot coming, actually. Oh no. I mean, I don't think they've guns. There's no way they've guns, actually. We should be chill. Let's just do the crate. And then let's see what these guys have. Wow. This is actually a hell of a crate on wipe day. Single armor there as well for tag boot. C4, MP5, no way. Let's take the HKM as well. This is actually a hell of a crate, not gonna lie. Only issue is these guys now camping my tag boot. But I mean, they have bows. Unless they dived. So my tag boat with DB, but I don't know. They shouldn't be too big of a problem, I hope. You could even raid them, but I think it's not worth it. It's too early. I'm gonna save the C4 for, for later, probably. But yeah, let's just leave. But they wanna farm it. That's the problem. And I w wanted to farm it as well, but I guess we can come back and just... And do this as well. Could raid them, but I don't know. Nah. It's wooden, that's a wooden door, I'm pretty sure, as well, so... I just go back. I mean, this is by far the best start I had on a fourth swipe. It's one hour into forts, and I mean, we got, you know, Tugbot, pretty decent crate, I would say. Actually, insane crate. And I think the plan is gonna be playing on Tugbot as a main base for the first few hours until we, you know, we farm up a bit of materials to build a starter on the iceberg. Also, the base I wanna build on the iceberg is gonna be actually a tank of a base. So, I really hope. First of all, I really hope we can build it, and also that we get a raid defense. That will be the best, because I'm really keen to see how this base is gonna do on a raid defense. So yeah, let's use the tag bot for now. We, I guess I'm gonna put everything in there, bring the C4 as well around, just in case. Might come in handy. And I think the next step is gonna be either go farm Ulrich for a bit, until he's down, and then we recycle, and you know, get some BPs. Let's go, come on. Well, tag was fully secured. Armor door on the bottom. We should be chill for a while.
Let's make a small box real quick. Okay, we deep on everything in the tugboat and let's go Alderig. I'm pretty sure those guys are farming it. So let's go check it out. If they're not, well, I'm just gonna farm it myself. Yep, tugboat there, as expected, okay. The only issue is that we don't have diving gear, so I have to send the tugboat once again, like before. I saw one running, L2. I just need to hope they didn't find a DB or something, because I'm pretty sure they're stuck on bows and nailgun. So we need to be lucky here as well, a little bit. Just hiding now. They could even jump out and go in the tugboat, so I need to be careful. Okay, I see him. I think I need to push. I don't know why, but I have a feeling I'm gonna get blasted with a DB or something. Pretty positive about that. Now it's just gonna be hiding. What is in the tugboat? Oh my god, I actually knew it, did. I actually knew it. Oh my god, if he killed me, it was over, it was actually over, couldn't even spawn on the tugboat. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy has it all, kinda loaded, not gonna lie. The other guy was just camping on drive it's it. So yeah, I mean, I guess they farm it for us. I appreciate it. Nice. Well, we deeper real quick and then we just keep farming oil ourselves, hoping for an airdrop, maybe. Maybe Thompson as well on a crate we can research, but I don't know, just gonna farm it for like 20 minutes. Let's see if you're lucky. Okay, I guess we take it. What, what a crate, like, that's an insane crate. Backpack and Sire. Remember, it's first swipe with no BPs. Literally zero BPs. Oh, they actually came back. <laughs> they want some more, I guess. Oh, yep. Time to ditch. We didn't get many crates. But yeah, we got Sire, we can research. Extra backpacks, so it's fine. Let's just be careful, just in case, you never know. Better safe than sorry, it's clear. I mean, we could build in this one, on the right. Is the, it should be the exact same as the one on next to Arbor, so... I mean, doesn't matter, we can just build here. Oops. Not the best tugboat driver. You kinda need to build exactly in the middle of the iceberg. Like the base design I saw and I wanna, you know, build. It's kinda insane, but it has to be kinda perfectly placed. Otherwise, we screw the whole base, you know. Well, what we need now the most is metal fragments. I research table and yeah, I mean level 2, so we need to recycle a lot. So let's just go airbar, I guess. I guess we can park somewhere right here. There's another tug, but we could raid it. We could actually raid it. I think I'm gonna do it, right? Let's check if there's any boxes from the inside, maybe. I mean, from the outside. Might not be worth 
doing it right now, but I think I mean I want to use the C4 anyway. Let's see if I see a bunch of boxes. I think we're doing it. There's one guy there. That's the owner, I guess. Let's see. It's two boxes, but yeah, I think I'm doing it. I don't care. Let's take the C4. No way. He just came out. I think they wanna drive away. Nah. Come on. Now nah, he's leaving. <laughs> what? They, they just don't care. Well, that's perfect for me, actually. Let's send it. They're gonna come back, but we just let them go. Oh my god. We out, we out. Dude, I actually deserve to die. I completely forgot about that guy. But I didn't hear him at all. That makes no sense as well. Let's go. They were actually loaded. No way. Oh, if I die there, it was a disaster. Oh my god. Took a cloth as well. Bunch of low grade. I think I left some crude oil. If I remember correctly. But, I mean, I don't care. We could have gone deep to that, by the way. Because those guys literally went out without even looking, you know? Two times. Like, one naked first, and then the guy with the wet that almost killed us. So, I mean, we could have gone deep as well, but... <coughs> I'm not complaining. <laughs> one kiss crap. These guys have been grinding. Yeah, I guess we just build the iceberg, maybe. Let's do all the researching. One kill over it, dude. I think I left crude oil. I'm pretty sure I saw crude oil. It was like 300 maybe, but... I think we got the best loot, come on, beside the crude oil. I'm gonna make Ista level 2, man. We have like 500 more scrap here. Yeah. Oh my god, he's 2 hours to fourth swipe, man. This is the best fourth swipe I've had in ages. Like, I think I never had such a good fourth swipe. I'm not even lying. Then we got two syringes. We do. Oh my god. I might want to keep moving though, I don't want to stay in a single position, so let's place research table like this. Not the best of the airlock, but should do the work, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we get the mat here. Backshot as well, I'm gonna just research literally everything, I don't care, I wanna use all the scrap. Got a bunch of scuba diving gear as well, no white suits though, that's kinda unlucky. Got pit as well, I'm gonna do the F1 grenade and I think we got pretty much everything we could research, used almost all the scrap. We got level 2, I'm gonna place it down and next step. It's gonna be making the starter on the iceberg, I guess. It's gonna be a 2 by 2 starter, so not a big issue. Let's get the tools as well, maybe here. And we should be fine. We have Jackhammer. Yeah, perfect. I think this might be actually perfect, like this. And as I said, this was by far my best for swim start ever. From countering the very first oil of the server with an insane lot crate to reading a loaded tugboat and researching more than 1000 items worth of scrap all in the first two hours. The plan now was to farm a bunch of nodes and secure the iceberg. So the plan was gonna be farming and make the starter on the iceberg, but small oil just came up. We don't have many bullets and meds, but we should be the first ones, hopefully. And I'm just gonna clear it. And if I have enough bullets, also gonna use the red card. Let's go. I think I'm gonna leave the dog scientist just to be safe. Mm. 
wait, they don't, it doesn't tell me if the MP5 is in burst or not. That's a new bug, I think. That's that's kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. Well, whatever. Python as well, nice. Need that for two rats. Be all, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully, nobody came up on ladder while I was shooting because I didn't hear anything. My ears were exploding, but I mean, I didn't hear the dog scientist shooting, so we should be fine. Hopefully, Not the best dev is as per usual. There should be one more on pod. Hopefully the lot crate is decent at least. Okay, let's just depot as much as we can. We secure this route at least. Then we keep holding. <laughs> I mean... Just keeps getting better, I guess. Can't complain at all. Ooh, double Tommy. Two sergeants as well. Should be one minute for the crate as well, so let's wait for that. There's one guy swimming. One little rat. Can't even make the jump. What is he doing? I don't know. This guy kind of lost. I respect the sand, but no wet city. There's gonna be minus forty or something. <laughs> uh, what is he doing, dude? Let's just loot the crate and leave. Oh my god. Wow. These are the best two crates I've ever had. Like on wipe day. This, this, the two crates we got on wipe day. They're kind of insane. Like they're actually insane. Let's go back. We just need to go far during night time, I think. I think that's the best thing we can do right now. Someone farming actually. I speak. Only crossbow though. Okay, kinda farm a lot during night time as well. And free diving gear as well. That's nice. Let's go back. Can okay, I just deep everything and get a bunch of wood so we can let the furnaces run in and get enough wood to make the base on the iceberg?
Should be fine for a bit, I guess. At least enough for the 2 by 2 on the iceberg, I hope. Yeah, we should have everything. I'm pretty sure. For the starter, so let's go. Yeah, I guess I can do HKM instantly on the TC side. I'm gonna, you know, save up some resources. Okay, it seems like we centered it perfectly, I hope at least. Door here. Just gonna deep a few extra guns in the actual base and then I saw balloon like on the shore. So I think I'm gonna pack up most of the components we have and we can fly to outpost. It's not too far, but I think balloon is the safest way. Perfect landing actually. Hopefully nobody's gonna steal it while we recycle and we're good. Perfect, let's buy a bit more metal fragments. All I need is to save up around 500 scrap so we can take 3 in garage door. So like this should be perfect. 540, yeah. Guess we keep this and we go back. Damn, I'm actually on point with landings. Look at this. Perfectly on the iceberg. No campers. Nice. Okay, this should be enough for now, then we need to eat more nodes and research garage door before I forget with the scrap we left. Yeah, this should be enough for sure. Yeah, nice. Actually, perfect. Not even 4 hours into first sweep, we're doing extremely good, like for real. Never had such a fast progression in my 12,000 hours or something. This is actually insane. You know what? I'm also gonna check military tunnels real quick. Maybe someone is doing it. If not, we can try to do it ourselves.
Someone just killed a scientist on top, so there has to be someone here. Yep, that's what I thought. I guess we finish it ourselves. With the sar, it's gonna be pretty easy. Molotov, we need it to research. C4, okay. We take it. And PC station. We need that as well for a small rig. Extra custom as well. Okay, we need this. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff we need. Another cipher. Molotov as well is good. We can research to do some, you know, eco raiding and PC station for Ulrig. It's all super good. So, yeah, not too bad of a run actually. And more components I could go re uh, recycle real quick. Oh wait, I made one extra. Well, a rip. Gonna use only three for now. Nice. I'm gonna get some wood and expand the base a little bit. Okay, it looks a bit weird now, but trust me, once it's fully built, it's gonna be, you know, a tank of a base. I think this is one of the most expensive bases I've ever built, so yeah. At this point, small rig respawned, but unfortunately, I didn't have red card, so I simply cleared it and found a Nolo and another airdrop. After that, I went to Outpost to trade the diesel I've been collecting on oil for HKM, and also bought a few red cards. Well, are they gonna send it? Maybe when I call the heavy scientist, most likely. Plus, they're gonna be camping there. For sure. Be careful about that. He's dead, and there should be one more, I'm pretty sure. Unless... I think he's camping the tugboat. Yeah, he is. Oh wait, never mind. Unless it's some other random camping the tugboat.
Yeah, no diving gear. Not much they can do. I respect the sand, but I don't know. <laughs> nice try, I guess. Another Sephora. This guy does sir. We can dive for it. Prototype. nice nobody camping we got a bunch of extra guns extra c4 as well that will come in handy for other attack bots and now while oil is down i guess we can focus on building the base a bit Okay, it's looking very good so far. This is gonna be the open car where I am right now with the windows. We're gonna have ramp picks from the top. I mean, we are like, I don't know, 10% of the base. So, still gonna take a while to finish it. And that's why I'm focusing on building the base kinda more than usual. Because as I said, it's way more expensive than my usual base. So I kinda wanna focus on building at least the first days. So yeah, but it's looking pretty good. I like it so far. Also, as you can see, the external pieces are gonna be a little scuffed because I have to place them literally on the edge of the iceberg because for this base I need four of them. So it's gonna look very weird, but I mean, if it works, I don't really care. So it is what it is. We're actually a bit late. They're already clearing every scientist. Need to be fast. I don't know if I can make the jump. Let's go, it's only two, I'm pretty sure. Double Tommy. They came with a balloon, but there was a mini as well, I heard. But I don't think it landed. I think there's a scientist on top, like every scientist, I mean. Okay, we just need to wait and hold it. It's gonna be a bit harder because there's no scientist on dock, so it's gonna be, you know, divers going up kinda easily. But yeah, let's see how long it is for the crate as well. There's a rib coming. I wonder if it's the same guys I just killed. He's a sir. Can't really fight them. I think I need to wait them to come closer. Yeah, this guy is baiting me. <laughs> One guy is up on dock already. Yeah, he's crouching up. Uh, maybe I should have killed him. Rip is sending as well.
Damn, didn't even see him. Well, unless they do the jump, I'm just gonna hold here. This is one of the best spot. Nobody expect it for some reason. They always look on the back. And yeah, I don't think they're gonna do the jump. We just wait here behind the box. Just like that. I think the Tommy fell in the water, of course. Yeah, I did, I'm pretty sure. But did I down? Yeah, I downed. Okay, yeah. I downed the other one as well. Just scrolling away. Yeah, his Tommy is... Went to Narnia for sure. Yeah, it's the same guys, actually. Okay. Ooh, AK again. Nice. This is the second AK. We've been pretty lucky with the crates. Can't complain at all. I just deep everything. Another good oil, actually. AK, face mask, bunch of extra diving gear. It's going pretty good so far. This is looking so good, I don't know why. Also, it might be weird, but it's my first time ever building an open curve, so... I don't know, to me it just looks super good. And I can't wait for it to be finished. Nice, look at this. <laughs> I like it so much. Let's go. It's a boat. It's a submarine. Oh, nah. There's a submarine as well. That means only one thing. Oh, I need to get taken so fast. Come on. I think we're late. Please don't bomb my tugboat, please. Nah, dude. Yeah, I think it's bye bye to our tugboat. Oh, I think it's missing some. Come on. Need to spray that out. Nah, it's it's Jover. Yeah, it's sinking already. Unlucky. Uh, I mean, I could have tried with Sar, but I think it's I need AK for this to scare him off. But I mean, they have to raid the door as well if you want the loot. But I think they're doing it just to being annoying, probably. I guess just in case I'm gonna go there with a scuba kit and spear gun, just in case they have enough to read armor door, so we can maybe catch them in the water. I'll take the level 2 as well, we can sell it later. Unfortunately, as we lost the tugboat, Zmoil respawned, and trust me when I say this was the craziest older gun of the wipe. It's double alert. I'm gonna get cooked here. It's coming night time, I don't have a flashlight. No way, I didn't hit them. I don't have diving gear, I'm pretty sure. Why didn't they never come with diving gear? It's the same guys. Oh, one more. It was three of them. I have no idea how that was. Uh, like, I actually have no idea. Like, don't ask me. I don't know what this gun has became. It's actually horrible. 
I think they're all dead, no? There's only two, I guess. Okay, never mind. You're right. You were right. I don't know if he got up now or not. I actually got so scared. I don't know if this guy's swimming or he got up though. I don't know. I actually have no idea. I'm so lost right now. It's a rip full sender as well. It's one more still. With no mess though. That's kind of annoying. This guy just holding on the pipe. Wait, there's one more still. What? He's diving now. Oh, I don't see anything without flashlight. It's insane. This guy's just gonna loot everything and and deep. I mean, hopefully they find the bodies a bit further away, so we can get the meds and some ammo from them. That guy literally took everything. Okay, at least his bodies are not looted. Nice. Just gonna call this. Wow, what a nice rift actually. Let's see if we can beat some people up. And there's a tugboat coming. Okay. He's about to be insane. Okay, never mind. Going up. <laughs> I guess we need to let them up a bit. All from L2, L1. Might have killed one. The only issue is that we don't have any mads, so I can't really, you know, trade too much. It's actually a lot of them. Yeah, but you should talk less and play more, I guess. Like, if there's something that I hate and actually triggers me, it's people talking. Just because it's numbers and you think it's better or whatever. If only this guy with the spear gun was doing anything. He actually pushed up like that. There's no way. Wow, didn't expect that. It's full gear as well. We need to loot that. There's only one? I think someone else came up, no? Oh! Oh, I'm stuck! Okay. Yeah, it's like two or three more below. But they're not driving away for response. Why? If I did two nades, I'm actually gonna get mad. Let's rotate real really quick. Wait, it's another AK. Okay. That's one more dead. They're actually fighting. One left. It's a 
both coming though. One more dead. It's actually pretty insane. Almost threw that to Sar, man. Come on. I'm panicking so hard. I just wanna check if the tag boot has armor door or not, because we can come back and just raid it. No way, dude. <sighs> no way. How many people did they kill? I killed like, I don't know, 10 to 15 people probably. And that was pumpy. Ah, uh, that's because I'm graded, I should have just jumped. Don't even check off the tug boot. I mean, that guy's gonna dive away, for sure. <sighs> Kinda deserved that, on a way. It's so unlucky. We need to go back. I'm getting the C4 as well, I don't care. Boxes, but it's empty. Unlucky. <laughs> it's empty. Wow. Oh, no way. I mean, I deserve it. Actually, a bunch of stuff down here. Nice. Another sword. Nice. Well, at least we got a bunch of stuff. The AK as well. Not even close to what I had when I did the pumpy, but still. Better than nothing. So let's go back real quick and then we come back. Okay, they're living with the tag boat. I just traded. I might as well follow it, you know? Nothing else on Olerig now. Maybe they're gonna come back here for sure. They need to place doors, so maybe we can steal it. That's a full kit, I'm pretty sure. Oh, now the guys from the iceberg are gonna come. I think we loot and go, right? That's all my guns. Almost. This guy's full metal with such... Oh my god. He has an AK indeed on the ground. We actually got everything back, pretty much. I think Dake is on... Nah, Dake is on the boat, I think. Yeah, someone is on the boat already. That guy is Dake. I didn't mean to do that. Let's go. We need to be fast. They live right in this iceberg. So loot and go. Other guys, okay, for sure. Adios. So yeah, that's actually the guy who killed me with Pumpy. 
But I think we got literally everything back. I'm not even kidding. Oh, the rib is right, right above me. I think they know where I live. They actually know where I live. What? Look at them crouching like little rats. How do they know though? Now this guy could be anywhere. I think he went up on the roof from my jump pops. He's coming night as well. This is not good. I see. Okay, never mind. Well, again, we got everything back pretty much. And to be honest, I deserve that. Like, I did all the work on the toil. And that was actually kind of insane, not gonna lie. Like, I killed four or five at the start and loot none of them, because there was a guy diving who looted everything. Then I killed, what, five or six more with the tugboat? And I dead popped Pumpy, man. I was actually so pissed, not gonna lie. But, I mean, we got it. We got it. Nice. Wait, look at the kit. This is the kit I had on Noil when I got pumped. I wonder how they know I live here though. That's still, you know, my concern right now. Because that's the first time I found them, so I don't know. Kind of weird, but still, we got it at the end. Well, I guess it's time to focus on the base a little bit. I want to do maybe pick downs and close the open car before I get off. Okay, so the open core is pretty much closed. All we need now is a bunch of garage doors and next step is gonna be pick downs with the shooting floor, which is gonna be probably the most expensive part. So I wonder if anybody's selling pure artists, but I think it's still too early into first swipe. What is it? It's, oh, it's exactly 24 hours into wipe. It's 8 p.m. right now. It's exactly one day. We're doing so good. I didn't even realize that. Wow, okay. Well, I guess it's gonna be a bunch of farming for a bit uh, while we wait for Smoil to respawn, maybe cargo as well. It should come out soon, but I think it's gonna be farming for a bit. Sure is the guy from the base behind me, so kind of wanna loot and go. Okay, let's just put everything to cook. We need this metal kind of bed. Perfect, we got shooting for finished. I guess I need a bunch of siren lights for the door picks I did. I kind of freestyle those, like the shooting floor and the roof is gonna be full freestyle. Because I can't really do the base as it should be, but I think it's gonna look good regardless. After this, I also built the roof, researched two rats and went for a big recycle run, so that I could take the wind turbine and also get some cloth. But little did I know, someone was waiting for me to come back. 
There's no way. We're getting raided. We're actually getting raided. Dude, I was literally about to set up two raids. How many are they? They have to be raided. Yeah, they're raiding. There's so many. I need to have one kill. I have zero clot. I literally have zero clot in base. I need to spawn on the locker. I was literally about to get two raids, dude. Well, we have only one egg kit and four meds or six meds. And these guys are like eight, I think, maybe ten. Nah. I don't wanna be negative, but I think we're kinda screwed. There's someone camping top roof as well. There's so many, I can hear so many footsteps. I think he's above me. Can I even loot myself? That's the question now. That's perfect. I need to loot that. If I don't die, we need the extra kit. For sure. What? Nah, dude. Like, they didn't fix this yet. It's insane, man. And I get rocket with you. Like, that, that actually lost us the raid defense, probably. Like, they still didn't fix this. That people see the bodies in different... Uh, in different ways. It makes absolutely no sense. Unlucky. That, that could have actually been super good. They even rocket with I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's over already, isn't it? Yeah, GG's, I, I'm, I'm actually tilted, I'm not gonna lie. Like, this timing actually made me kinda mad. Because I was literally about to make two reds and move the loot to the open car and set up lockers. The timing couldn't be worse than this, that's insane. Like, I don't think I could have done anything faster than this. This is like, not even two days into first swipe, it's one day and half. It's the morning of second day of first swipe, like, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I have no more beds left. Okay, our body is still here at least. We have one kit here, but... I lost literally everything. I don't even know if I feel like playing after this. I'm actually kinda sad. I think these are counters. I'm pretty sure.
AK guy actually died. Is this a sign telling me I should keep playing? Because I really want to leave, not gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, I guess we go back to our base, if I can still call it a base. Well, I'm gonna dip on the top, because the bottom is fully open, kinda pointless. Getting raided like that with such a bad timing was of course demoralizing and sad. I'm not gonna lie, I was on the edge of quitting the wipe, but those extra kits we got on the hill made me rethink that. So, thanks to my neighbor, I was able to patch the base. Now, let the rebuild begin. Fear kill two, one more swimming. I hope they don't have diving here, please. Wait, that's a dead body. I think he has a backpack and he couldn't put the tank on, I guess. Oh my god. What? No way. This is actually meant to be. What are these guys doing, dude? I think this guy bled out. There should be one more though, somewhere. I'm pretty sure. Unless he dived away, but I think all of them. Yeah, he's dead. All of them died. Okay, this guy is not loaded at least. Well, this is actually so perfect. I think they broke the level 2 as well, so we need these components. Let's go get the rib and go back. And after making a very needed play, a small rig, I also broke the four external TCs and replaced the main one, so that I could push the base without it decaying. Okay, nice. This was the last one of the four TCs I broke. We also replaced the main one, so that's perfect. I guess we need to farm a bit for upkeep now, because we are low in materials. I see him running the police. These guys are farming. Okay, other one is behind me, getting food. Oh my god, okay. To be fast. A bit greedy, but I want to get the MP5.
Well, with this, I can proudly say base is pretty much finished. We just need, you know, a bunch of garage doors, two reds. Like, I had so many laptops and cameras before I got traded. Now I am so low on that, but we're gonna find a monolithic, not a big issue. But I need to catch some sleep now. It's 4 a.m. I wanna sleep at least 3 hours. And tomorrow, go crazy, hopefully. But before going to sleep, Ellie came out exactly on my side of the map. So I took it and found an M2, which will come in handy later on. This is actually perfect sending. No way they heard me. I think I trolled. I don't know why I did that. He actually didn't hear me, okay. I guess our strat of removing Azmat worked. Poor guy. I think he was FK or something, because there's no way he don't hear me doing the jump. And looks like he's only solo. Okay, nice. For free like that. Okay, we wait for daytime and then I start working on the comp on a bit around the iceberg. Actually, perfect. I like it. Okay, we're not gonna talk about this, but you can go through it, so <laughs> I guess it's fine. Nice, just need a bit more wood for more walls, and then the iceberg is fully closed off. It's not even full HP. This part of the Chinese clan on the ice lake. That's how safe they think they are around their base. That's all they do, they only farm around here so they can bolt if they die. Yep, one of them. Yeah, and as I said, here comes the bolt here. <clears throat> what are these guys doing, man? I can't even sleep.
Hey, bro. E. The day after, me and my friend Dovile decided to pay a visit to the Chinese clan on the ice lake and tried our luck while they were offline. We couldn't have a better idea than this one. Uh, I guess the one in front of us. Be behind, behind Sunset, no? Yeah. Now it should be gone, let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, it's gone, it's gone. We can take Vinny. <laughs> yeah, we need to hit a tool. And after checking the drop boxes on the roof, we decided it was worth trying blowing into the open core, hoping they left some doors open. It's open. Oh my god, this is... Oh, it's all open. Everything is open. More... Oh my god. There's no way. Sulfur. Oh my god. Oh my god. And after almost one hour of breaking boxes and transferring loot, we split it between us. And if you know me, I instantly craft a bunch of enemy machines to fill with rockets, sulfur, and GP. And it didn't take long before someone saw them. Okay, let's go. I didn't want to move just in case it was an offline attempt, but it's triple rocket launcher. So let's go. It's gonna be fun. Damn, okay. I can't really tell where they are. I'm not sure if they got in already or not. Because I hit the... Yeah, these are my two reds with them too. So they gotta be in the pink downs at least. But I can't get an angle. I might have to go below. Oh, they're here already, okay. Makes sense. Oh, I think I killed a bunch with the nade. You can jump, you can jump on the side. I heard some step in the water. Let's loot their kids, I don't wanna make the same mistakes of the old raid defenses. I killed three with one aid, I think. Damn. Let's drop this. Keep blowing in.
These nades are going crazy. I'm getting eight markers. <laughs> Another one. Every single nade I throw, it's an eight marker. I don't know why I can place a normal wall, but I guess Halful will do it for now, even though it's open on top. Let's take these kids as well. I don't know what are they even doing. One HP, literally one HP. I think it's the ramp being annoying. I need to place it from the outside. Escape plan activated. Ooh, almost got me. That was probably a counter, but I'm just shooting everyone, I guess. Wait, you know what? Let me drop them too real quick. I'm already trolling by playing compound, because there's no point in doing this. Let's not give them free M2 and rocket launcher as well. Yeah, I mean, as I said, I don't know why I went for compound. They're even blowing again. I thought they, they stopped. Blowing a lot, but open core is fine. A bit damaged, but they're not in yet. I don't know where they're going through, to be honest. Vending machines are good as well. Don't get it. Be perfect to seal this, but I have no materials now. I'm dead through the window. I knew that was gonna play against me. I mean, they're not in yet, so no panic. Just get some sealing materials and you're good.
I mean, I can keep killing them, but if I don't punch, it's useless. They're just gonna keep jumping in. Oh, no more bullets. I wanna loot his bodies, but the guy is holding through the window. It's so annoying, I don't see him at all. I don't see him, man. I actually don't see him. Maybe I got him actually with an aid. Need to try to patch. We actually got it. Smoke actually worked. Yeah, I think they're ditching. I got all their kids in my base, pretty much. And we sealed everything. I think we got it, boys. I think we actually got it. I thought it was gonna be way harder, but it's actually pretty easy to place the wall. Pretty sure it's over. Yeah, I mean, it has to be over. They're not spawning or anything. Look at the raid base as well, though. It's kind of weird, no? I think it was an offline attempt, but I mean, it's kind of deep into wild. And <laughs> with all this stuff, I'm flexing. I think they don't care. Like, they just saw it and came online or offline. They probably didn't care. But yeah, online, offline, whatever, it was super fun, so I appreciate the raid as always. I'm also happy that, you know, I could try the base with an actual raid defense, not like the one we got early into the wipe. So yeah, it was super fun. Bro, you're solo, right? Yeah, I'm solo, I'm solo. How many boxes of grenades did you have prepared for that? Dude, all I'm gonna say is, I've been waiting for a raid for 7 days. So, I was pretty prepared, trust me. Yeah, that's actually boring. We're here to farm BPs, you know, for white. Yeah, yeah. And... Yeah. That's why we thought we were gonna raid you, because you're flexing rockets and shit, <laughs> for fun. Yeah. But we actually didn't We did, didn't think we would run into a guy having a box of grenades, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, respect for I the think, other raid, I think though. you killed like 40. We're only online. And with this final raid defense, my first swipe was over. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, and if you haven't yet, subscribe. Also, thanks again for the 25k subs. As always, see you with the next one.